Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fang company. So let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to work upon a lead code easy problem missing number. And uh, let's understand the problem statement. Basically, we are given an array of numbers uh, containing n distinct numbers in the range of uh, 0 to n. And we need to return that there is one number that is missing and we need to return the missing number. So if we take the first example, the range we are given is 0, 1, 2 and 3. But we, when we see the actual input of uh, nums, the, in the input, we only have 3, 0, and 1. That if we start cancelling out the numbers that are present in nums and uh, also present in our given range, 0 can be cancelled out, 1 can be cancelled out, and 3 also can be cancelled out. But uh, the value number 2 is present in our range but not in the given input. So we would simply return the value uh, 2 as not being present and uh, two, is 2 being the missing number. So there can, there can be multiple approaches on how we can solve this uh, problem. Okay, and uh, we would try to uh, keep in mind with this follow up as well and we will try to solve this problem in big O of 1 space complexity and big O of n runtime complexity. So the f first two trivial approaches we have in our mind is uh, first one that if we sort the input array we can uh, clearly we can solve this problem easily but the issue with the sorting approach approach would be that the runtime complexity would be uh, n log n because we need to do uh, sorting first and that takes n log n time. Our second approach is to use a hash set and we would keep on storing all the values of uh, nums input in the hash set and uh, then we would iterate with the range loop and uh, go over hash set to see if the value exists in the hash set of no or not and eventually we would find a value that exists in range but does not exist in hash set and uh, that would be our solution. And the good thing about hash set approach is that runtime complexity would be big O of n. And, but the issue comes for the space complexity. Uh, and the space complexity for this approach would also be big O of n. Which is not what we want. So let's see what would be the optimal solution. And I would be showing two optimal solutions in this coding problem. So our first optimal approach is actually pretty simple. Basically, we are given two, uh, two items. Uh, first one is range that is from 0 all the way up to n. And second one is nums input array where the values are 0 all the way up to n. But one of the value is missing and we need to find this missing value. So the most simple approach to do is we run a loop. We run a for loop on this range parameter. And for every single value in the given input uh, from 0 all the way up to n, we simply do an addition of all the values. We store the result of all the elements in the range in a parameter called range sum. And we would find some value over here. And again, we repeat the same process, but this time for nums. So we do the sum of all the elements in the num. Uh, with another for loop, uh, we store the result of a uh, sum in a new parameter called num sum. You can put any name, this is just randomly something for taking the name. And then when we do a difference between range sum and this num uh, uh, number sum, the difference would actually be the missing number. And this uh, this way we would be able to find the solution pretty quickly. Let's take it by, an, by a quick example. So clearly we can see that this um, value 1 is missing. So the sum of all the elements over here would be 10. And the sum of all the elements over here would be 9. So if we simply do 10 minus 9, we would find the value 1, which is the missing number. And this solution is pretty simple to do 
and uh, the time complexity would be big O of n because we are just uh, simply running two for loops separately. So we are not doing much work in terms of time complexity and for the space complexity other than storing the value for just couple of parameters uh, we are not consuming any additional space so the space complexity would be constant and this is a, an optimal approach that we are asked as a follow-up in our original input. For the second optimal solution, we are going to use a bit manipulation and specifically uh, we are going to use X or operator. So if you don't know what X or operator is, let me give you a quick tutorial on what each value is being represented when it gets X or with uh, some other value. We can only have four possible values for A and B because all the values in computer system are represented as binaries. Now in the X or if both values are zero, we consider the value as zero. If any one value is one, we consider the X, A, X or B as one. Uh, same goes for this one. And if both values are one, we again consider A, X or B as zero. Now let's see that using this logic, how can we uh, find the missing number. So now consider this property that for any given value n, if we x or n with itself, the answer we would get is actually 0. And let me show you what I mean by that. Suppose our current n is actually 6. And now let's represent this in binary. And now let's try to do n x or n. And this is the symbol for XOR in uh, computer um, in programming language. So if we do the result, uh, 0, 0 is 0, 1, 1 is 0, and 1, 1 is again 0. So if we XOR two values together, the answer we get is actually 0. But if we XOR so suppose if we XOR the values like 6, XOR 6, XOR 3, the answer we would get is actually the value by itself. Uh, so because 6, XOR 6 would be 0. And now let's try to XOR 3 with this given 0. So the binary representation for 3 is equal to 0, 1, 1. And now when we try to XOR these two values, uh, 0 and 3, the answer we would get is 0, 1, 1, which again means 3, the number that we XOR 0 with. And we also notice one more additional property over here that whenever we XOR two values, so 6, XOR 6, XOR 3, gives the result as 3. Also, if we change the order and if we put any order like 3, x or 6, x or 6, this will also result in 3. And if we do like 6, x or 3, x or 6, this will also result in the value 3. Because order doesn't matter. Uh, if we are XORing two values by itself, uh, both are going to eliminate themselves and their answer would be 0. So whatever is remaining would be uh, the uh, answer of this one and we can repeat this for um, whatever number of times you want. So we can if we do something like uh, 2 x or 3 x or 2 x or 6 x or 6 x or 7 x or 7. If we run this entire thing still the answer after this would be 3 because notice that over here 2 cancels itself 6 cancels itself and 7 cancels itself and only 3 is going to be remained. So now we now since we have established all of this, let's try to see that how can we how can this be useful for us in this given problem. The input for our given problem is actually we are given range and we are given the input number. So suppose for an uh, suppose for an example the range we have is uh, 0 to 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3. 
let's consider 0 to 3 and the input parameters we have is suppose 1 3 and 0 so notice that number 2 is missing now if we were to use this XOR logic that if we XOR all the values in the range with all the values in the nums we would get something like this 0 XOR 1 XOR 2 XOR 3 for this range portion and if we XOR this with the nums input we will get 1 XOR 3 XOR 0 and if we combine both of these basically all the values that are same would be eliminated and would be turned to 0 so this 0 would cancel out this 0 this 1 would cancel out this 1 and this 3 would cancel out this 3 and notice that right over here we just determine that the order in which XOR happens is, does not matter everything is uh, not right next to each other still they will cancel out each other and at the end we are only going to be remained with the value that is not at all present in this nums input so in the nums input we don't have the value number 2 present so the result of range xor nums would actually give us the value 2 and uh, the result 2 we can simply return it and this would be our solution so this is a very neat very unique solution and because we have the knowledge of x or we are able to come up to this result and if we use this in an any if we use this in any interview this clearly shows that you have very sound in, uh, knowledge of computer co concepts and you know how to apply them when they seem fit uh, this would definitely give you a, a very extra very sharp edge over all the other candidates and uh, let's do the uh, complexity analysis so for the time complexity we are actually doing everything in just a uh, single loop for one loop for range and one loop for nums uh, so the time complexity would actually be big o of n and the space complexity would actually be big o of one because we are not using any additional space so this would be the most optimal solution and this is what the problem is asking us to find now i'm i showed two optimal solutions but first optimal solution is very trivial to understand so i'm not gonna code it up and i'm only going to code up this x or solution so we will first of all create a variable x or and we initialize it to zero you can give any name and now we will run a for loop starting uh, from the range so int i equal to 0 to i is less than or equal to nums dot length i plus plus and every time we will xor the number with itself so Now again we will run another loop and this time we will run it for the in given input uh, array. Notice that we are only using i's less than number of length and over here we are using uh, less than or equal to because in the range we have one value more than whatever the value whatever the length of uh, number is. And again we repeat the same operation xor with the value in the given input array and now we will simply return whatever we found in xor that this would be our missing value let's try to run this code looks like our code is running let's try to submit this uh, submit it and yeah our solution works perfectly fine and it's actually pretty fast and pretty efficient and uh, Hope you like this video. I will be posting the solution in the comments and uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for the videos. Uh, yeah, let's clear FANG together.